Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. And I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. So I've gone ahead and printed a few pages from the kit and I will use those in today's thank you cards. Now, considering that fall, autumn is the season of gratitude, I want to make sure I have a couple of cards on hand to send out to people who I just want to make sure that they understand how much I appreciate them. So um, I am going to be using the journal cards for the card bases and word tiles and some of the ephemera. I also intend to use the library card and pocket to create a gift card holder for one of them. Now, before I get started, because I'll be putting the rest of music and speeding it up just a bit, um, I want to point out to you a little bit of a difference here. Now, if we look closely, you'll notice that this red and that red seem a little bit different. Both of these are printed using a inkjet printer. And you don't get the same saturation from an inkjet as you do with a laser jet. But what I found to help make these images pop off the page um, using regular cardstock from Walmart is the, this, the Tim Holtz Distress Micro Glaze. Now, of course, you know I'm not sponsored by this or anything like that. It's just something I picked up to use. Now, I'm going to show you really briefly how the difference that it makes. Um, so I'm going to slide this off to the side. I've done all of the images on this page as well as this page with that. And it really is just, it's really simple to use. So let me bring this down a bit. Okay. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger, a little less than that, and I'm going to rub it across the image. I'm rubbing the bottom part of it, not the top part, just so you can see the difference. And when I'm done applying it to the paper, just buff it off really quick with a paper towel, dry paper towel. So if you can see here, the top part has more of an ashy look, whereas the lower portion where I applied the micro glaze is a deeper red or a more vibrant red. So if you too have an inkjet printer as opposed to a laser jet for I think it's around something like five to seven dollars, um, you can grab yourself a jar of this and apply it to your pieces um, so that they, they are a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more, the colors a little bit more deep and you can get more out of your, your, your printer without having to upgrade to a, a laser jet until of course you're ready now with that being said i'm going to go ahead and fussy cut out some of these images and get started creating some cards all right so i'll be using the collage sheet this one as well um, for the backgrounds that the journal cards will sit on top of um, i printed out this journal card and ephemera page with word tiles as well as the library card pocket and uh, library card and pocket. And um, here I'll use some of the washi tape and uh, the coffee mug. And then I have a couple of pieces of craft card stock that I'll use in addition to a very thin piece of scrapbook paper. Um, and it'll just serve as the inner portion for the, you know, for the cards. So that's what we'll be doing. So stay tuned, grab your supplies. And if you haven't already downloaded the kit over in the Etsy shop, just sit and watch, grab yourself a little, something nice to drink and uh, enjoy the process. Be right back.
All right, so we have the two completed thank you cards that we created using the Autumn's Breeze kit that's available in my Etsy shop. I'm going to keep plugging it until y'all have it. Anyways, so I'm going to give you a close up so you can see the beauty that we got from that kit. So what I did was, obviously, I fussy cut out this harvest frame um, and behind that is some foam tape. Now that is laying on top of the journal card and the pattern paper collage sheets that's in the kit. Um, and then I added a little embellishment right there because there's these little gold brads right there if you can see. If you can see it. Now there's also the word tile there and behind that is a little piece of cheesecloth. And I just used a little bit of uh, cardstock. To back that, make it pop up off the page, and behind that, just for a little add, added dimensions, are a couple of layers of the cards of the craft card stock. Moving on to the second one, I want to um, just share with you my experience using the Distress Microblades. Now, remember, I had went ahead and used it on all of the ephemera pieces for this, but I didn't realize that I wanted to use some embossing um, powder. And so, what I will say is. I would advise you to use the micro glaze when you're done with your entire project, unless of course you know that you will not be embellishing it with something else because it makes it a little bit resistant to other products on top of it. And I'm not sure which ones it does, but nevertheless, use it as the final step in your production. Okay. Now, nevertheless, with this card, I took the other journal card. I stamped some coffee beans on there, used the word tile cozy the cup of coffee or cocoa, in this case it's coffee, um, I put a little bit of embossing powder right there and just to get a little bit of shiny, make it look like it's real liquid, you know, and added the piece of ephemera there. Behind that is the other collage sheet. And on the inside, I used a piece of the washi, stamped out the word thanks a latte, added some coffee beans to the inside of there, and there we have it. It was not very difficult. So what I'm trying to convey to you with this small project is that you can use this kit to make cards. Now, yes, we do use it for journaling, uh, to make journals, for scrapbooking, uh, mixed media, but you can also use this kit to make a batch of cards. And considering that you can download it as, and print it as often as you'd like to, it's yours to keep forever. So grab yourself a copy of this kit from my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. And don't forget to check out the other ladies. Their links are in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you are now starting into your fall creativity season. All right. Come on back. Stay tuned because we got more to create from this kit. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.